When I first learned about the Diker collection, I was always intrigued by the pumpkin pot from Akama. This is a water jar. It is very unique because of the design. While the form and the design on the neck are representative of a typical Akama pot, the pumpkin design is just so unique. And there is a pigment that fired to a green finish, which is not a traditional color used at Akama. After speaking with cultural leaders and other potters from Akama about this particular pot, it was clear that this pot is a tribute to the pumpkin clan of Akama, according to our emergent stories. At the time of emergence, there were a certain number of clans that were born onto this world. I'm Sun Clan, and on this pot, we have the sun symbol on the neck there. The sun is surrounded by clouds and rain symbols, and then the larger body of the pot would represent a field or the land, what we would call zato or shtirapaima. And here sits this pumpkin, and aside the pumpkin, the corn. Corn is so significant to any indigenous culture. And so this is an incredible representation of what Akama people today and what our ancestors believe is the life way. It's a symbol, part of a larger story of our cultures and our continued existence on this earth. I am very pleased to see that items from my community are being included in this important exhibition. These pieces will share their energy, the blessings that they contain, with everyone who sees them.